Alright, in this video I'm going to talk about the three theories in, in continuation to my previous video about the, state, about the theories of aging. So in this video I'm going to talk about the air catastrophe theory. Air catastrophe theory. Um, theory of programmed aging. and also extra cellular junk. Okay, so that's what I'll be talking about today. So the error, catast error catastrophe theory is the one we probably think about most when we're talking about aging. Um, it essentially says that the accumulation of errors throughout a lifespan causes the eventual um, effects of aging. Why we look older? Because our DNA has accumulated all this damage, random mutations, or um, environmental caused mutations such as UV light damaging the DNA of the skin. That also causes skin cancer and one of the skin cancers, um, or at least a really bad skin cancer, is called melanoma. Um, other causes of the air catastrophe theory or other, other reasons that causes um, damage to our genes is the based on the free radical theory such as um, free radicals and the Ross the rapid oxygen species so highly reactive molecules such as oxygen I'll just write it air catastrophe is supported by oxygen ra radical reactive oxygen species and then we have, well, the definition is basically damage through throughout life. And it could also be damaged due to UV radiation or any other radiation for that matter. Also, random mutations. And what happens is, whenever there is ran all these uh, errors in our DNA, say you're trying to transcribe a protein, or transcribe, say, this is a strand of DNA, and you want this segment, which is also called a gene, a gene is, by definition, a segment of DNA that codes for a trait, or this trait is being a protein. So a gene is converted to mRNA, which becomes a protein. Now say, let's say this gene is damaged here and damaged here, just random bases of the gene, just pretend any sort of bases. There can be point mutations. which is just um, a mutation in one, one base, such as a miscopied um, base. Or there could be shift mutations. And there's, all, there's even um, duplications of gene, where entire um, genes are copied multiple times. And I think some of the chromosomes are actually duplicated chromosomes with minor differences. So say during DNA replication, you got DNA polymerase right here, you copy the wrong base. So now you want this protein with a specific structure. Now remember, structure determines function. This is probably one of the most important concepts in, in biology. Structure determines function. So if all the uh, genetic mutations are building up in the body, or in this gene, the protein it codes for, say it's a really important protein, probably if there's a, if there's a genetic mutation, then the protein that is made is not going to function properly. So if it's not going to function properly, then it's going to cause the body to leave homeostasis, and it's going to cause a ton of other problems. So that's the air catastrophe theory. 
Vendors programmed aging. Because you know, there is a huge difference between in, in longevity between the different animals. As I've explained previously, uh, you know, longer or more intelligent animals tend to live longer than less intelligent animals, and bigger animals tend to live longer lives than smaller animals. Well, that gives the idea that, well, of course, not all animals live at the same rate. Um, that is controlled, that's what was called by programmed aging. There's really, uh, and that is controlled by our genes. Um, so, I guess there's really not much I can say for that right now. And then there's extracellular junk. This is, this is, um, this is the theory proposed by, well, scientists have known about it for a long time, but I heard this theory from Aubrey the Grey. And extracellular junk. So here are two cells. What happens between two cells is that you need um, hormones or multiple cells. You got... So all around, these are, say, pretend to be muscle cells. It could be blood cells, any cell. So cells have to communicate in between each other. That is actually how stem cells um, within a blastocyst works. That's how we, we, we got our arms and legs. Originally, when we were a single cell, that one cell divided into two, four, eight, until we got about 100 cells. And based on the position of these cells, these cells turn into our arms, turn into our legs, turn into our livers. So these cell, cellular communication is really important. Now what happens is that sometimes you get this crappy stuff in between the cells that isn't broken down. So that screws up communication. Also, if you're talking about the lining of um, blood vessels, that is also the extracellular matrix. So here is the blood cells. Pretend that's pretend that's a blood vessel. And if you got stuff building up all around here, that causes that can lead to blood clots, or just in the just the circulatory system doesn't function as well. And that is one one example of extracellular junk. Otherwise, you can also have um, um, you have gardens of glycoproteins on the surface of your cells, and there's also the, the, these glycoproteins are required for cellular communication. Now, there's also a problem when a person ages. There's some of these glycoproteins are cut in half, so now cells cannot communicate between each other, so now they cannot function. So these are the three. A uh, basic expl explanation of the three more theories of aging. The air catastrophe theory, uh, programmed aging, and extracellular junk. I guess I'll go through how to solve these problems later, but the how to solve it is, is still under development. And Aubrey de Grey, you should, I suggest searching him on YouTube. He's a really interesting guy, and he's actually a computer programmer, but yeah, he's, he's, he's the leading um, aging researcher right now. Alright, see ya.